It mine was too for some reason. And the reason why, I know it because see, I believe when Grace bought that house, I was already married for the second time. And I married in 1954. And I believe about two years later that house sold. Well, that keeps saying. We, so far we haven't found the letter, right? Let me find my picture. Okay, I mean, you, you got the photographs. Uh, yes, well, show the documents first okay. and then the Was that the letter? Yeah, we, yeah. we, we would love letter. to see it. Last time we were here, you mentioned that yeah. your mama had written a letter to President Roosevelt. That yeah, yeah, I told you. Well, we, no, told well, we knew it. Yeah. Did you tell me about what we you knew it, letter? but we, we don't, don't know. I had forgotten it. I had forgotten it. She that, didn't uh, tell us to like it. It, we had no idea what was in it, what she wrote. Off and say, she right. just laughed and well, said not, that. Not start off and say, uh, well, Mama told us that she wrote a letter to Mrs. Roosevelt or whoever. Uh -huh. Mama well, had told us that she had written a letter and laughed about it, but she didn't, you know, she took uh, no, everything. Sorry, you didn't. No, we didn't lie. To, yeah. a letter. to, a letter to the Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Okay, start again. No. Well, Mama told us that she had written a letter to uh, Roosevelt. But we didn't know know what was in it. We just knew that no, she wrote the letter. No, that's all she said. What what made her write that letter? Why would she? Well, we were uh, desperate. Yeah, 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 I think so she too. Was she was real upset, and we all loved Roosevelt. And Mama thought that was the answer that he would do it, whatever she asked for. She thought, you know, I don't know whether he tried to help her or not. Now that we don't know. Well, if he tried, well, that was good enough for us, you know, because you don't always win. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But we come out. No, no we all we come have, out well. Okay, but we have a document from Washington, which you might like to see, which we found in the archives. Yeah, okay. yeah we Judy, would. If there's anything Judy about our parents, about we would. would love to see that. Okay. Well, Okay, I tried to look for that letter, and I was mistaken. The reason why I knew the Schattinger name was because of this document. Grace, could you read it? Why don't you read it out loud so they could hear? You be blessed. Yeah. Well, Mike could read it better than you. Oh, do you want, Nell, why don't you read it? Her eyes are real bad. I just had one. It's bad. Is that what my mother wrote? No, it's, it's not what your mother wrote. I was going to say, this, my mother didn't write no. this. No, your mother didn't write this, but... No, I... Uh, wait, wait, Fox, you just read it. No, why don't you read it? Yeah, why don't you read it? No. No, you read it. Discrimination. I wish to make a complaint of you and this... I can't... Demonstration. No, yeah. no, why don't you no, read it? No, no, why don't you I, read it? You let, read it. Let Nell no, read it. Yeah. She can see I have to go with this one. Uh, Dear Mr. Coffey, I wish to make a complaint of union discrimination in violation of Section 7A of the National Industrial Recovery Act against the Noonan Cotton Mill, number one, Noonan, Georgia. This company has refused to reinstate a large number of strikers and members of the union that were in the employ of that. Let's see, wait a minute, employing on that concern at the time of the strike. Many workers, not members of the union with less seniority than those refused employment, have been employed. Your prompt investigation of this complaint will be greatly appreciated. Following are, are the names of some of the workers that have been refused employment and are victims of human, union demonstration. Um, do you want me to call these? Right yes, here it call says them. Eddie Step Card Room, employment six years. L.J. Walden, number two card room, employed one and one half years. William Shatner, spinning room, employment one year, two months. J.N. Farmer, card room, employment 30 years, eight months. J.E. Blacknell, four, four card room, employer 23 years. Joe Quick, one card room, employment 12 years. L.B. Smith, number four card room, employment six years. E.T. Young, Twister room, employment ten years. O.C. 
the OC shed in Jakarta room in Bloma 15 years. You in the room? That's my daddy, but it's not. JC. Well, it's got OC there. Gray Shad in the spinning room in Bloma 6 years. R.J. Blacknum, spare hand in Bloma 11 years. J.A. Cooper, spare hand in Bloma 1 year, 2 months. R.G. Bean, speeder hand in Bloma 7 years, 4 months. J.T. Brooks, spare hand employed 1 year, 4 months. Maddie Mitchell, cylinder hand employed 22 years. Gus Barnes, spare hand employed 6 years. J.W. Broom, Brain hands employed 14 years. GL Bean Speeder hand employed 12 years. JD Wallace Pick Slugs employed 9 years. JV Cook Sweeper employed 9 years. JP Cook Picking Slugs employed 8 years. EW Washington Spare hand employed 1 year. OL Cash Run frames employment eight years. E. D. Tawson drawing hand employed seven years. Almer London spinning room employed five years. Lois Stone spinning room employed three years. Virginia Lewis spinning room employed eight years. Alice Bean spinning room employed eight years. C. L. Sprayberry spinning room employed one year. H. D. Tarleton spinning room employed five years. Ek Edgar Topham, spinning room, employed seven years. Uh, Is that what's I wrong? heard her name back on it. Some of them Did come she to come me back that I knew, but I wasn't working. Look, that yeah, time. Lula. But she come back, Lula didn't go and play. Uh, well, Lula Smith, right? No, it says card, but I thought. He, how old were we? Wait up on top. I, did you know that the that the union was trying to help you get you reemployed and reinstated in your no, home? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I, didn't. I didn't either. We mm -hmm. did not know that. We didn't know. We felt that it was all shoot Whatever, you know. They broke that up at the gate there. That that was it. Now, I don't know whether any of the other family knew it or not. But I didn't. Uh, did you get anything from Union Cotton Mill? Well, like, that year, I see. Well, they that, they wrote that. that my mother wrote. I, I have called the archive for the last couple of days to have my colleague look for it, and she couldn't find it. And the reason why I knew your name was because I had found this document where they were trying to mm. bring in grievances and really help all of you get your jobs back. Mm -hmm. So, Grace, your name is there. So you lost your job, too? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. go in. If I yeah. had gone in, I wouldn't have lost my job. But I would not walk in under those sticks. I was frightened. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I think that was uh, unfair. She was not a member of the union, even. Who? You. No, not really. But they, uh, I did get a little piece of paper, a book, or something, and I believe, I think it was after the strike, I'm sure it was after the strike, but, but they yeah, paid, they three they months paid. paid there, that I, you yeah, know. Somebody else paid. got it for you. They did, my husband, his daddy did it, got all his son. They didn't know anything about it. What did they do? Nothing, they didn't let them go or anything. They didn't know either. Now Grace, hit, Grace, did you ever remember paying dues to the union? I didn't cheat it. I think that was after the strike. Yeah. And so they I think that was put there for her to lose her job. It was great. It was unfair. The whole thing was. Back then I don't see if the union ever helped anyone. They were they, they, they did though. Oh, yeah. no. it, come around it was it's in a better in some places, but we now suffered, but. union is not very good in a lot of places. It's really I, I don't know anything about a union. Not anything. Grace, what were you saying? Honey, I don't know. You were saying that you suffered, but the union did help? Oh, yes, it helped a lot of people. Uh, we suffered, you know, but it it helped down through the years. Yeah, we really mm -hmm. suffered from that. Mm -hmm. the, it hurt more people, a lot more, than it was at that gate. 
a lot of it. It did. Now, how do you we feel? All suffered. How do you feel now, looking back and knowing that the your employers were taking this action if they suspected people joined the union? Well, let's see. I don't know. I don't think well, they, they should did. dismiss them for uh, for that. Uh, for joining really the union, but still, you know, that was their rules. So, th at that time, we we certainly had to abide by them. Yeah, we sure did, or else. It was, yeah, it, I was saying was. the rich gets richer and the poor gets poorer. And I think as of today, the rich got richer and they still owe us. I really feel that way. Well, I don't think no, the no, rich I, has anything had anything to do with that. I'm not just, talking about uh, them. I'm talking about the one just, that was running the ownership of it. Yeah. Even our uh, overseer, they had to they had to take orders too, you know, and that was just one of their rules. Now they offered my job back uh, not too long after that. They sent for me to come down there, but one of the bosses, over, one of the overseers, said that now that I didn't live with my parents and I wouldn't accept it on those terms. So he knew what I thought then about him. I read that. Excuse me. No. Farmer had been there 30 years, eight months. Daddy had been there 15 years. Mm -hmm. But I mm -hmm. wouldn't take nothing back then years. It taught us a lot. Well, I and think I one thing, mm -hmm. nobody over there, not, we wasn't ever people, but we knew nothing about union. This was something new, and they went for it. I don't know who come here to organize it or what, but they shot them a lot of bull. What I think about this, this it was somebody pressure. trying to get rich and trying to get what little money the cotton mill did have. No, I don't know. I don't think so. I, they just, they wanted to organize. They all, the people that come to organize, believed in it. Well, these did too. Now, I don't know how them feels about it now, but it's sure we suffered. Well, that wasn't on the part of Avalon. That was a very small no, part of Avalon. Yeah, it, it, it so sure was. That was just a small part. We made it. The big, the thing about it, we made it. We got good memories to look back to, and oh, it's like I said, I if my mother and daddy could see us today, they would be either. thankful that we come from. Of course, I always miss mom and daddy, but uh, I don't look back on that part of our life. Mm -mm. Damn much. That had been erased in my life. Uh, my my mind mo almost. Uh, in my subconscious mind, probably somewhere, but it just blocked it out. I just never. Uh, yeah. It had just another lifetime. Yeah. Now, now you went on and you had a very different experience with unions later, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us about that? Well, the only thing about it, um, well, I'll tell you. Can I just tell you the reason why I really joined it? Mm -hmm. uh, well, just say you joined the union. I was working in a place. I'd, I'd rather not call the name. Mm -hmm. I'm working in a place and. I had the most seniority of the group, and it was a big plant, and it was a good many people. And I had I'm a sorry, boss. could you start off and say, well, this is after I left the cotton mill. Okay. This was after I left the cotton mill, and I worked at this place 25, almost 26 years. And I was working in a big plant, and they were trying to organize a union in Chilean. Well, I stayed back away from it. From this wind burn, I stayed away from it. And I didn't have no intentions of ever joining or either signing a paper or anything. And several weeks before this thing happened, this lady came and she tried to talk with me into it and I wouldn't sign the paper. So I was sitting at my desk and at that time, doctors had me going to a diet, you know, to lose weight. And I had to drink a lot of water, and I had to go to the bathroom quite a bit. But I was pretty fast at what I was doing. And so this little boss, she was a woman, and she had less seniority. She was over me, and she was fear of me. She was afraid that I could roll her for her job or anything. And she was really after to get rid of me. 
And she come out there and call me in the office, and she just threatened to fire me because I had went to the bathroom just, just a little bit too many times that day. I walked out of that plant. I walked to the union hall. I signed a paper, and it helped. It brought right up. Next day, I walked in that plant. I had on that button, and I was proud to wear that button. <laughs> and I walked out in front of them. They, they couldn't believe that with the, as many years as I had and, and as many as I had worked with, that I would stand out on the front, but I stood out on the front and ha and handed out papers. I went to work the hour, hour and a half early every morning, stood out, and every when they come in the plant, I'd hand them, stand out and hand papers out. But it worked. But the union didn't come in, but it worked. It paid off for me. Yes, one that did. And when I left the company, I retired. After that, I retired. And when I left, uh, they wanted to talk to me something about it, and I went into the office, and some of the bigger bosses says we're working on. Says we wish you had come to us earlier. It was just a few months that lady was with the company no more. They listened. When something like that happens, sometimes it brings people to listen. That did help. Of course, I never paid no dues or nothing. I just it didn't organize, and so I wasn't really a member. But that's what made me go. You know, sometimes you can have a little temper. When you shouldn't have it. <laughs> or maybe when you should. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, it worked. She got on my back. She stayed on me all the time. She called me in that office and I started beating on that fist and I said, I one time had to work here, but I don't have to no more. Now you'll settle down. <laughs> <laughs> and that, I just told her. I don't care. There's something else in life besides that union. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's, let's yeah. come off of that. What, uh, what uh, else in life? What's the, the greatest fun you have with these two? Well, uh, these two? Yeah. Uh, foot club. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Uh, well, we're pretty close. When? Now, then, or uh -huh. when? Well, I'll tell you about and us, a little bit about we're us. We're close. Uh, we're very close. If uh, the most it, fun we have? Strapping. And, and if, uh, we we come up doing that. If one gets sick or anything, the other one's there. Well, there. And we're right there no matter what. And yeah. it don't have to be sisters. We have our little ups and downs, like everybody. You don't stay way up here all the time. you got to come down sometime. I thought you stayed down all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Where you going to leave? <laughs> <laughs> we got... No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to get you, Grace. Oh, I know you're not. Sister, I knew you, you would never sit here by me. <laughs> we take the places of, we really take the places of their mother. We, one of them was recently, since Christmas was here, had cancer surgery, and Grace brought her here, and me and Florence, we cooked, and I got up every morning and come here, and we cooked, we helped Grace out. Cause yeah, Grace couldn't we loved all. every minute doing it. And we loved every minute. It. Yeah. And we sit this table every day and it's long time it's full of food for seven and eight people besides us. And now, we've got some photographs we want you to look at. Before we move on to a short read, I want you to look at this one. Okay. Never, and I would wear at school, and I never will forget that I had gone to town school then. You know, up town, because we went to Mary Street Street. Temple Avenue. Temple Avenue. Yeah, Temple Avenue. And one of the little girls come down the foot of the stairs. We had to go upstairs, you know. Sixth and seventh grade was upstairs. And she said something. This where did you get that coat? I cried all the way home because she was you know, making light of my coat. Mm -hmm. And I never will forget, and I'll tell this is funny too. You Grace never going to kill yeah. But when we wore bloomers, you know, like, Anybody we were dresses. The dress yeah. was shorter than the bloomers. They and were it, my legs was big, and Mom put uh, elastic in the bottom. And, were, and I never will forget there was a bright blue. And I tried to pull them up under my dress, and my little girl come sit with me at school. And she, when I'd get up, when they'd have me start reading, well, I was busy reading, she'd ease up my dress, and then everybody in the room would get sniggered. And you know what? That teacher got her and made her stay after school for two weeks for doing that to me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I went out that day and I just died laughing because she got into it. Well, we laughed. Now, it's his good memory to remember the blood not being in the egg <laughs> and the sweet bread. It's still, it's good memory now. It's, <laughs> and you know, when, we got, when we got gas and when we got the first bathrooms on the village, that was something we thought we were downtown. They put in the, t the tubs are still over there. I wish y'all could have the. 
to get in there and make the pictures. It's got them legs and it's that round tub. They're still in the houses over there. They're not the modern tubs. I love, they, I, I love that tub. They put them tubs in there and put come all in there. We didn't have a laboratory to wash your hands in the bathroom. I think a gas stove and I put in some heaters and we thought we something because we didn't have to burn coal and we didn't have to cook on the wood stove. That we didn't freeze to death when we went to the bathroom. Uh huh. It was so mm -hmm. nice. It had a little heater in there, a little gas heater. We go in there. It was warm. Chris. Now I was uh, talking to a big manufacturer last Monday up in uh, Greenville, South Carolina. And I asked him, he was, the guy's 90 years old. He's head of uh, a Spartan Mills. Mm -hmm. Matthew, fellow named Matthews. And I said, uh, when did you put in the bathrooms in the houses? And he said it was about 1933, or 32, 33. Mm -hmm. And he said, but you know, that most of those people didn't know what they were for and they put coal in them. Oh. Mm. Where would you get an idea like that? I don't know, but the bathrooms were put at the old mill in about 1945. Yeah. The older I, than I lived on the mill no, after I married. My son <laughs> was born there. I guess my son was. Was y'all already living in that house when they put it in? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess my yeah, son we was, was living about at Nike Bear when they put him in. That was after the war. But where would we get an idea like that? I don't to know. To put coal but in what? I reckon they brought it in, keep them going out. They never take baths, maybe, in it. Didn't use it for that. Because they wasn't used to getting out of tub. They got a wash pan. And you mean they you put take coal what we, in a tub? You bathe with, you know, a rag and a... Uh, Soap and water. You didn't have a Blood tub. bath, except I always call it a spit tub. bath. Yeah, that's what you're taking. And uh, so I didn't take one until Mama made me. And anyway. You mean you get the tub? No. Wash tub. Oh, yeah, yeah we do that in the summertime. You know, they are always away. Mama set up tubs, a big galvanized tub out in the summer. Had it what? How did it feel to move back to that house? How did it feel to move back? I didn't. We didn't move back the same one. I, it uh, just natural. It was you know, we just moved back. But let me tell you about the bathtubs and the clothes. You see, I was already working And they that. put a I sink already been in back the kitchen. There several years. They were all been used. We had to scrub them and, eat and clean them up. They did. I, I didn't ever get the luxury when I lived on that of a sink. I did get the electricity and the hydrant out the back. And that was luxury enough for me. Chris, so, what were you saying? I don't know. <laughs> you said you you just I, I asked you how it felt to move back to Murray Street. Oh, no, no, no. We moved no, back to no, Berry no, Avenue. 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 How did it feel oh, to move back just, to Berry Avenue? It's just natural. You it know, just yeah. to move back to natural, in, and we were proud that we got to go back because then. You see, I really never that did leave that place. My friends were there. We did yeah. off several it street. Was home. Well. Yeah, next yeah. street. Uh -huh. uh, I was in the village, and so my friends were still there. It was just natural and home. Now, we have some pictures that just we're trying to identify some people. You may be able to recognize people. Yeah. Look in the crowd, okay? I got this at the Atlanta Historical Society. Oh. Uh, gosh, can you pick it up? Can you see now? You see if you. I don't. Now see. this this is at uh, now this is what I looked at and I was standing up here on this bank right up here. Oh. Let but me this see is that now. this is not anybody that worked. Let me These see are that not now. anybody that worked with us. Was that from mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Don't you see the peanut house there where they used to and you know carry peanuts too? Yeah. I thought this maybe she is where. We sit under before we went. They, oh, they did put a shed there later. Mm -hmm. oh, That's yeah, where they put the peanuts and then oh, they had to get them on the floor. And it's so that five minutes to down. work time. They unlocked this is day. out of town people. Yeah, those are all this out is, of town people. Well, and see if I can see Beth Holloway. She was talking so ugly. 
No, I don't. She's large. Large person. Big brown and hairy. That was a that look like somebody we know. I don't think. I doubt it, but I don't think First so. woman from that side. That may be the one they're fixing to haul off, you know. They were to do it, I think. I don't know what they are going to do. I, I was, I saw it. Well, I thought it was mostly men that they hauled off. No, there was women there. Mm -hmm. And they, hmm, things are sad. See, right here is the gate, right here. And they was up against this it, gate to start with. This was warehouse. Mm-hmm. And down there were opening room. Over here it was uh -huh, And this is a peanut house there. And right here, up here on this bank. They moved all of that. Uh -huh, yeah. When I, I was standing up here, so I, I thought maybe, too. you know, it might have my picture standing up there, but it didn't. I was standing on the side, the walkway at my friend's house. We had the two-story house right on Field Street. Had me little boy. Mm -hmm. Somebody wore a tie, didn't he? He was with the crowd, whatever that crowd was. Mm. Are you fighting? No, uh, uh just and see right here. Talk. Look here, this is uh, a mill office right here. This is side of the mill office, and there's somebody's hand out with a watch on. It wasn't me. I didn't have. One. They didn't have things like that back then. No. Let's see. What was uh, the atmosphere like that day? When what what you saw there? The, what the you, office? The atmosphere. Could you right. describe what well, it was like? Well, oh, excited. I was it it was really excited. Exciting. I could not hold yeah. my son up. And he wasn't over, I don't know, I, I, he wasn't a year old. It was, but it, it really was, didn't bother me because not that bad. Uh, to start with, <laughs> I thought they was going to shoot them. Uh, <laughs> no, it, it, I didn't, didn't think it, that. I thought they was going to shoot them. And you know, when you, naturally when they come in and I stand up, they're going to watch it all. No, I can't. Uh, uh, no. Well, I'll just tell you, we, I think we talked about the union more than enough. Well, I thought well, it was about well, the, I thought it was happened. about the 20s and 30s. You got I another it was supposed, one. What I didn't know it was supposed to be completely about a union. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know any of them. That's not. They fix it. Well, I don't know. They looked pretty happy, didn't it? Yeah. I don't well, know. That, that don't look familiar there. We, see, we That's were crying. We there. didn't know That's that right. meal was our life. Mm -hmm. that, I think that Let was, me see that. Let me see yeah. that. I uh, think that's all the uh, outsiders who were in the truck. Mm -hmm. Well, there were not many out there I knew. That was outsiders that they got. They had mostly. Them. They come in and pull that. Here, at, here they are at Fort McPherson. Grace, get a get a gun drop. Mm -hmm. I'm gone. Gonna wind it up. Mm -hmm. We don't know any of them. That's actually got a Fort mm -hmm. Max. Mm -hmm. They they really That's got somebody else. Look at that. They put they must have put pants on them alike for some reason or another. They didn't wear pants back then. They sure had. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. I don't know any of What is she saying? Nail something. She's talking about Nail, Grace don't hear good. And I think you talk louder when you don't hear. Mm -mm, I don't know any of them. Okay. This, this is not, those are not familiar with us. That yeah. other one, that first one was really okay. familiar. Now let's... Uh -uh, uh -uh. We're just